about a week before that session was due to happen, the country went into lockdown and I thought to myself, what am I going to do here? had a look at Miro and that was the one I ended up using and I will just get that so that you can see it there we go um, should be able to see Miro on the screen um, so you have a you can have a number of um, boards here uh, Miro is free to sign up to you have to create an account um, but that's a relatively easy process to do um, and if I just um, show you some of the some of the templates that you can use so if we go into a board um, you can put templates on here it's like the one that I was showing you showing you just a second ago in the Microsoft whiteboard uh, so if we just go into Agile workflows, there's a few useful ones here. So user story mapping, that gives you a timeline. Uh, retrospective, so there's an, um, a number that you could use for a retrospective or lessons learned session. So this is this one, retrospective, what went well, what needs improvement, next steps. And all these stickies are movable, I'll show you in a sec. Um, different kind of retrospective, what was good, what was bad, ideas and actions. Um, and start, stop, continue. Um, this one I've not seen before, but I quite liked. Liked, learned, lacked, and longed for. Love a bit of alliteration, me. This is what I ended up doing. So a while ago in a retrospective session that John led at Ticketmaster, he showed us a, um, a great way of starting a retrospective by visualizing the project as a timeline. So I used the journey mapping template to create this, this timeline. And if we just zoom in a bit, the idea here is that um, you have a timeline of the project and you have these milestones that you mark and you can add uh, sticky notes to it. Different people who are signed in can add sticky notes to it. So you have to invite people to, to the board and they have to create an account. Um, and once you're up and running, they can create these sticky notes and they can move them about. So if I click on this one here, you can you can move the stickies about. So we started with this timeline of the project, then we moved on to uh, this one here. So what went well, what needs improvement and some next steps. So you can see there's loads of stickies on here and um, I sort of grouped them together across the boards. Um, and there's an extra kind of uh, item that you can put on this board here um, called a card. So uh, if we look at this one, this is a bit more than a sticky. So it's a sticky with an extra dimension. Um, you can have a title uh, and a description and you can assign it to somebody um, and you can attach a due date as well and a metadata tag. So it's a bit like a Trello card or a Microsoft planner card or action in that it's got a bit more to it. Oh, you can change the colors as well. Um, so that was that. And then I went on to evaluate the session itself. Um, so it took place over two sessions. Um, I did a bit, I did a session of an hour, which um, I didn't think went particularly well. I tried to run it in Teams and for whatever reason, Teams wouldn't let me into my own meeting. So uh, as the meeting was going on, people were on this Miro board and they were mice flying about like nobody's business and post-it notes appearing from nowhere and all that kind of stuff um, and they were busy writing on the post-it notes we can't hear you where's the conference gone and what have you uh, so I had to set up a separate conference on zoom um, and I'd forgotten that I had a zoom free account which runs out after 40 minutes so the thing cut dead after 40 minutes and I thought the whole thing was a complete car crash so I emailed everybody afterwards apologizing for what car crash it was um, and they told me that I shouldn't be so hard on myself and actually they thought it worked really well and they liked the format and all that kind of stuff and they wanted to have another go. So I set up a meeting for later on in the week um, and uh, that one went much better. Um, what I learned from it, even though I sent out the link several days beforehand saying, please set up your account, please have a go and all that kind of stuff. People didn't do that. They, um, they joined pretty much as the meeting started or shortly afterwards. Um, and that was part of what made the first session such a, 
um, what I felt like was a car crash. Um, but once they'd got the hang of how things worked in the Miro board, and once I'd got the hang of how to lock down these frames, so one of the things that was happening um, was that as people were creating these post-it notes and wanting to move them around, they were actually selecting the background and moving that around like I'm doing there, which is really bad. Um, but you can actually lock those really easily just by hitting the lock symbol like that. And now if I try and move it, it, it just drags the whole board around or rather my view of the board. Um, so long story short, it, won't, it worked really well. Um, some people put up more comments on the Miro board after the meeting had finished. Um, yeah, and it was a good productive session and something that I would recommend to other people to use. I don't get anything at all from Miro, uh, but I think it's a great tool and I would consider paying for it in the future.